Standing for the Division 22, playing third base, Dominic Cavanaugh. Standing fifth, number 15, the catcher, Sean Hewitt. Standing sixth, number two, at second base, Cole Blackburn. Standing seven, number 34, playing first base, Alex Amalfi. Standing eight, number four, the designated hitter, Drew McIntyre. Standing nine, number 19, playing right field, Nick Calabrese. And on the mound for Ashley, number 11, Owen Ward. The manager of the Ashley team is Rich Powell. The head coach is Jake Ovid. Assisted by Dylan O'Leary, Sean Davido, and Andrew Kahn. And now for the sandwich starting line. Leading off, number seven in center field, Ben Smith. Batting second, number one, playing second base, Kim Scheuer. Batting third, number three, the pitcher, Tyler Whitaker. Batting fourth, number 22, playing right field, Chris Carrillo. Batting fifth, number 17, in left field, John Tropia. Batting sixth, number 23, playing first base, Nick Heyer. Batting seventh, number 15, at third base, Mike Petit. Batting eighth, number eight, the catcher, Jacob Black. And batting nine, number 12, the shortstop, Nate Coleman. The manager of the sandwich team is Paul Cabosa. The head coach is Brian Tomasini. Assisted by Larry Shell, Noah Holland, William Norkaitis, and Jason Shaw. And there you have it, the national anthem, and we are just about ready for baseball. Here at Fino Field in Milford, day two of the Senior Legion State Tournament. Tom Nappy, Steve Watson, Larry Sacklad on the call, Connor Donovan on camera. And today it is Ashland Post 77 taking on Sandwich Post 188. Sandwich comes in to this evening's game with a record of 19 and 0. Ashland is 19 and 3. A beautiful sunny Sunday evening for baseball. Temperatures are in the high 80s. Without further ado, let's get to the lineups. 
We'll start with visiting post 77. They are the away team here for this game. Kevin Balowitz getting the start left field today, leading things off. Brendan Grover, the center fielder, batting second. Jackson Hornung, the shortstop, hitting third. Dom Cavanaugh, the third baseman, hitting cleanup. Sean Jewett, the catcher, hitting fifth. Cole Glasper in the second baseman, hitting sixth. Alex Amalfi, the first baseman, hitting seventh. Drew Rancatori, the DH, hitting eighth. Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, hitting ninth. And now with the sandwich defense, here is Larry Sacklad. My pleasure, Tom. In left field, John Tropia. Ben Smith in center, Chris Burrito in right. Mike Petit, or Pettit, is their day. They call him in short. Cam Shoyer at second base. Nick Hyer at first. Jacob Black behind the plate. J. Todd Whitaker. And there you go, the sandwich defense. Sandwich out of zone 10, undefeated, 19 and 0. I don't think this is going to be an easy game for any of these teams because there's certainly a lot of skill on both sides of the diamond. I would have to agree with you on that one, Tom. Sandwich is not beaten for a reason. You gotta do a lot of things right to go 19 and 0, and same thing for Ashley, you gotta do a lot of things right to go 19 and 3 up to this point. So you're in the winner's bracket. Both teams are guaranteed to be here tomorrow. And now you're battling to at least move on to Tuesday. Best six teams in the state are left. Yes, the, the top six, the, the super six, if yep. you want to call it that. And uh, tonight's game, Milford is going to be playing. They took a nice victory yesterday over Quincy. A bottom of the seventh walk-off, two to one win for Milford. But we are ready for baseball right now. Ashland Post 77 Baseball airing on HCAM in Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland or HCAT in Holliston. We are the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Kevin Balowitz steps in to lead things off for Post 77 as Tyler Whitaker is set to deliver the first pitch of the game. And the first pitch is just outside, one and oh. Kudos to Connor Donovan, our cameraman. You can't see him, but uh, he could have got him a bucket of water. He could put his feet in there and let him boil. <laughs> Hot. There's a strike, one and one. Reminiscent of 2017, we were up here watching that Somerset game and that cruel thrashing post-77 game, some Somerset, like 115 in here. That's right, as this is hit foul into the parking lot, one and two. Owen Ward is the starting pitcher for post-77 today. Kevin Balowitz of uh, defensive fame in that Lowell game made an unbelievable diving catch. He certainly did. You could check that out on the highlights. There's a nice breaking pitch for strike three. One away. That'll bring up Brandon Grover, the center fielder. Brandon Grover, a 357 batting average on the season, 442 on base percentage. Pitch just outside, one and oh. Think a lot of the fans are taken to the grassy areas due to the heat. Wind up and the pitch, and this is fouled off. One and one. Well, it was a great comeback win for post 77 yesterday against Shrewsbury. They were trailing three to nothing all the way to the bottom of the fifth. They played two runs in the bottom of the fifth and another four in the bottom of the sixth and hung on for the six to three victory. Yes, pitch but four runs with what? What happened? Two outs. That's right. You never see that. That's why you never count this team out. This team is never out of a game. They certainly aren't. Here's the 2 1. Inside. People have asked me what are the dimensions of this field? It looks big. Huge. It's 375 to right, 346 to left. 416 to left center, 432 to right center, and 520 to dead center. Oof. That's a Willie Mays distance. And therefore strike, full count. Now the, the list of players who have cleared the 416 and the 432, it's, it's a very short list, Some pretty elite company. And this is fouled away. Don't be modest, Steve. <laughs> I'm just hitting facts. Cow remains full. Think of the polo grounds in New York, they had a 500. Swing and a miss. Second straight strikeout for Whitaker. That'll bring up Jackson Horning, the shortstop. Number five, the shortstop, Jackson Horning. 
first two hitters should be telling their teammates what this pitcher has. Morning steps in. First pitch outside. Well, I have a feeling we're going to have a pretty good pitcher's duel here between Tyler Whitaker and Owen Ward. I get the feeling too. It'll be a very low scoring game. And one thing I've heard about this sandwich team is they have a lot of strong pitching. Yeah, that's what you need, especially this time of year if you want to make a deep run. One horn on part of the shenanigans yesterday. Inside. Yeah, Hornung went two for four at the plate yesterday. A pair of singles and an RBI. The 2 1. And there's strike two. Tom Cavanaugh on deck. Lineup and the pitch. Swing and a miss. And Tyler Whitaker strikes out the side. We'll head to the bottom of the first. We are scoreless here at Fino Field on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Welcome back to Fino Field here in Milford. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad, Steve Watson on the call for Ashland Legion Baseball. Connor Donovan on camera. Let's take a look at the sandwich post 188 lineup. Ben Smith, the center fielder, leading things off. Cam Scheuer, the second baseman, batting second. Tyler Whitaker, the pitcher, hitting third. Chris Perito, the right fielder, hitting cleanup. John Tropia, the left fielder, hitting fifth. The first baseman, Nick Heyer, hitting sixth. Mike Petit, the third baseman, hitting seventh. Jacob Lapp, the catcher, hitting eighth. And Nate Coleman, the shortstop, hitting ninth. And now with the Ashland Post 77 defense, here is Larry Sacklad. The usual suspects, most of them. Dominic Cavanaugh at third base. Jackson Hornung at short. Cole Glassburn at second base. Alex Amalfi, first base. Kevin Balowitz in left. Brandon Grover in center. Nick Calabrese in right. Sean Jewell behind the plate, catching Owen Ward. Wind up and the pitch to Ben Smith, and there for a strike. Ward set to deliver. And this is up the right side, slow roller, picked up by Glasper and throw to first, no problem. Four to three for out number one. Cam Scheuer, the second baseman, will step in. Owen Ward on the season has pitched well for post 77. He's thrown 16 and a third, a 257 ERA. He's given up 18 hits, six earned runs, and struck out 12. Wind up and the pitch. This is hit in the air over to left center. That'll get down for a one-out single. That'll bring up Tyler Whitaker, the pitcher. He's a big fella. Owen Ward pitches out of the full windup compared to his teammate yesterday who pitched to Jim Alex Amalfi pitches out of the stretch. I prefer the stretch out of the full windup, but it's a religious thing. Runner with a lead on first. Ward deals, breaking pitch, a little high. Umpire didn't like it. You familiar with this home plate umpire, Steve? Somewhat, yes, from like, zone four days. Nice guy? <laughs> I played the fifth. <laughs> All right. Ward deals, inside there. Two and oh. Well, Tyler Whitaker certainly had some great command in that top of the first. We'll see if Owen Ward can match that. Whitaker started off the game by striking out the side. Ward deals down low. Three and oh. There's a strike. It'll get me over fastball. And the ones that have been sinking lower and falling in, he's been calling. You spot, a trend, you spot a trend then? Higher stuff, not so much. The 3-1, fouled away. Full count. When your pitcher's your three hitter, you know you got something. A lot of depth, for sure. Uh, yes, I'd say so. 
Sandwich out of zone 10, went 18-0 this season. They won their zone. In that zone, there's teams such as Wareham, post 220, went 15-3. Plymouth, post 40, 13-5. And, and Barnstable, post 206, 11-5. That pitch outside, it's a walk. Two on, one out. I'll bring up Chris Perito, the right fielder. Sean Babineau, the pitching coach, looking on. We saw Owen Ward yank that pitch outside. He of the Worcester Bravehearts, former Ashley in 77. Ace pitcher. He's had quite the season so far with the Bravehearts. Ooh. He's going to get spotted by the pros. Line up in the pitch, in there for a strike. That's what he's hoping for, Steve. He's hoping to get the sniff. And he has the stuff. Yes, he does. And he has great command, which is tough to find. 88 miles an hour, he told me. About 10 mile an hour differential on his off speed stuff. Ward deals, breaking pitch. And the umpire didn't like it. One and one. This is hit in the air over to right field, ranging over is Calabrese, and he makes the catch. And both runners will stay put. Two away. Calabrese made a very nice catch in right field to the latter part of the game. It looked like he stepped on a gopher hole and turned his ankle, but obviously he's all right today. That was a key catch he made yesterday. John Shropy of the left fielder steps in. Winner of this game would be in the winning bracket matchup tomorrow night at about seven as that's dropped by Hornung, a rare mistake there. Picks it up, throws it over, got him! Six to three for out number three. Despite the drop, Hornung gets the job done. We'll head on to the top of the second. We are scoreless here at Fino Field on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the second inning. We are scoreless between Ashland Post 77 and Sandwich Post 188. Tom Cavanaugh steps in for Post 77 to face Tyler Whitaker, who struck out the side in the top of the first inning. First pitch to Cavanaugh is slightly low, 1 and 0. Oh. Tom Cavanaugh, 381 on the season, 536 on base percentage. Gets a piece of this one up the middle, and it is picked up by the shortstop. Throw over, not in time. Cavanaugh reaches, and was the ball dropped by the first baseman? Either way, it's a single for Cavanaugh. Hire made a good attempt at that stretch, but his legs weren't long enough. Singular uh, error, guys. I with a single. I think even yeah. if he did catch that, he, he would have been safe anyway. That ball is right up the middle. Very, very tough to even get to it. All right, single it is. Jewett gets a piece of this over to the second baseman, throw to the shortstop at second for one, now to first. They double him up. 4-6-3. Holman did a great job of getting out of the way of Don Cavanaugh, who was bearing down on him. Ball was just too hard hit. Cole Glassburn will step in. You've got to have a little more patience than that, rather than swing at the first pitch. That's what we were preaching, preaching yesterday, patience, patience. Yeah, patience will be a virtue. They didn't do that yesterday early. Down low. Nope. 0 oh and 1. And this is a foul ball. Looked for a second there like that might stay fair. And roll to the foul side of the line. You weren't here yesterday, Steve, but Cole Glassburn actually legged out a double. You must have been shocked. I was. His jaw dropped. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Bonnie Rubble got a double. <laughs> the 0-2 uh, pie. Alex Malfi on deck. The 1-2 fouled away. Alex Malfi was popular with the press yesterday, all over the media. 
Certainly well deserved. It was a very good performance on the mound as this is fouled away. I thought you were going to have to get the glove out for that one, Larry. You could have caught that, Larry. As long as it doesn't knock over my water, I'm good. He should have caught that, Tom. I agree, he should have. <laughs> And this is hit high in the air foul. Scrappy at bat right here by Cole Glassburn. He's trying well, to work that count and get something he can drive. I don't think he has too many plate appearances where he doesn't have a scrappy at bat. And this is a fair ball, very slow roller picked up by the catcher, throw to first in time. So a two to three, four out number three, and we will head to the bottom of the second. We are scoreless at Fino Field on the Asha Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the second inning, six, seven, and eight do up for Sandwich. Nick Heyer, first baseman, Mike Petit, third baseman, and Jacob Lapp, the catcher. Besides this, size of this kid, he looked like he can go 5'12". Line up in the pitch up high. What do you think, Steve? Dead center? Uh, well, there's a few guys who have hit it very far out of here, and they're a similar build to this guy. That one's outside. That'd be 520 feet, I apologize. I believe it's two or three years ago, Blake Hill hit one through the field goal post. Absolute shot. You get anything extra for that? And this is hit in the air over to left center. That'll get down for a hit. Higher around first. And he will head to second with ease. A stand-up double to start off the second for Sandwich. You know what? Had Brandon Grove a field of that cleanly. He would have had a shot at him at second. He's got a 93-mile-an-hour uh, fastball from the outfield that's been yeah. measured. That needs to be fielded a lot cleaner than that. Yeah. Mike Petit, the third baseman, will step in with a runner in scoring position and no outs. We know Hire's not going to swipe a bag. Wind up and the pitch. Up the left side, foul. and the pitch and this is going to be a fair ball and it's caught by Ward throw to first no problem but the runner at second advances to third so Petit gets the job done there on the one to three I think uh, Owen Ward will pitch out a full wind up with higher at third base he's not going to go anywhere they won't suicide squeeze with him on third base anyway Jacob Lapp the catcher steps in Inside. Sean Jewett's just going to keep everything in front of him. I don't want to pass ball. A wild pitch. Inside. Can't seem to get a break with his breaking pitch, Steve. So far, no. So post 77, or the loser of this game will play at 2 p.m. tomorrow. The winner will play at 5. The loser of this game will take on Somerset at 2 p.m. Somerset defeated Quincy today to eliminate them 10 to 7. Infield playing in for Ashland. Fouled back into the fence. Shrewsbury will play at 5 p.m. tomorrow versus the loser of the Milford and Lawrence game tonight. Shrewsbury defeated Greenfield 4 to nothing to eliminate them. Swing and a miss. Wow. Pulled him on that one. That was eye high. Yep. High cheese. <laughs> I don't even know if it was cheese. <laughs> I am. Two way, Nate Coleman, the shortstop, will step in. Of course, on for Shrewsbury, they already have a bit to the regionals as they are the host up at Holy Cross. Right. You missed my pun, Steve. I ham, sandwich, cheese. There's a strike. <laughs> 
Well, Shrewsbury did win today against Greenfield, four to nothing after losing to Ashland yesterday. There's a strike. And this is up the right side, picked up by Glassburn, throw to first, not a problem. Four to three for out number three, and we'll continue on to the top of the third. We are scoreless here at Fino Field on the Asher Legion Baseball Network. Top of the third inning, 7, 8, and 9 do up for post 77. Alex Amalfi, Drew Rancatori, Nick Calabrese to face Tyler Whitaker. And this is hit high in the air over to shallow right center. The second baseman ranges back and makes the catch. Patience, you just mentioned it we before we came back. We were just talking about that. Obviously, yeah. uh, they weren't listening to, to what we were saying. Yeah. Alex was very critical of his hitting of late. And rightly so and yesterday he said I just relaxed let the bat do the work for me it's Drew Rankatori pitch outside he had a key base hit down the right field line yesterday to sort of start the craziness the 1-0 -oh. ball two now the professor has good eyes aka Drew Rankatori The 2-0. There's a strike. Oh, here's another one, says the home plate umpire. What do you think about that, That was the same pitch as the second pitch of the at-bat. Right. So why is the ball then and a the strike now? Swing and a miss, so number two. I'll bring up Nick Calabrese, the right fielder. Whitaker's just piling up the case. It certainly is. That's four now. In baseball, they say everything starts with two. A pitch down low, one and oh. Whitaker deals, down low, two and oh. Calabrese yesterday went two for two at the plate, was hit by a pitch, scored a couple runs, and had an RBI. In the 6-3 win over Shrewsbury, there's a strike. Two and one. You're going to have to remind me about that crazy sixth inning. I totally forgot my mind was... And this is going to take a couple hops up the middle, picked up by the shortstop. Long throw over in time. Six to three, four out number three, third straight inning. They end up going down one, two, three, and we'll head to the bottom of inning number three. We're scoreless at Fino Field on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the third inning, we are scoreless between Ashland and Sandwich here on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Stepping in is Ben Smith, the center fielder. Grounded out back in the first inning. And we'll recap yesterday's game throughout the broadcast, but also talk about what to expect tomorrow. All these scenarios that could happen. This is up the right side. That's a fair ball, and that is past the reach of Amalfi. Here goes Smith heading over to second base, and Calabrese had some trouble picking it up in right field, and Smith is aboard with a double. That'll bring up Cam Scheuer, the second baseman. Smith didn't realize that Steve DeVita wanted down that, uh, that infield. He went bouncing into second base. Certainly did. So tomorrow, the loser of this game right now will take on Somerset at 2 p.m. And then at 5 p.m., Shrewsbury battles the loser of Milford and Lawrence. And then at 7 p.m., or 7.30, it's the winner of Ashland Sandwich versus the winner of Milford Lawrence. I saw Lawrence last night. They were very, very athletic. 
That pitch is outside. Got away from Jewett a little bit, but he was quick to recover. And Somerset gave Lawrence a good game. It was only a 4 nothing game. Runner with a significant lead at second. As this is hit into right field, that'll get down. Ben Smith is going to be stopped at third. A single for Scheuer in this two on with no outs. That'll bring up Tyler Whitaker, the pitcher. Sean Jewett going to have some words with Owen Ward. That was really nerve wracking, Steve. I'd never been so nervous in a game that I didn't thought well, I had some skin in the game because, you know, I've been following the team all year, but I nibbled every fingernail off I had. It was ridiculous. Leaders, bloopers, seeing eye hits, it had everything. What, yesterday? Yeah. That's what it takes, though. <laughs> That's why I have. you trying to mount your reality, you need a few things to fall your way. What do you think of these beauties? I, I think they're beautiful. I said I had to go see a manicurist, and I found one in Hopkins, and I can't mention the name. Ooh, through behind him, and the runner is going to try to score. The flip to Ward, and Ward got him! A huge tag out there. One away. That's why they have pitchers fielding practice, right? Spring training? Got to do it all. Scheuer advances to second. That is a big out there. That was kind of an Huge. aggressive move to advance on the, the ball. Didn't really squirt that far away. Yeah, I mean, you got no outs. Runners on first and yeah, third. Yeah, in, in a scoreless game, that, that seems a bit too aggressive. Well, but that's just my opinion. I'm not a coach. Ward takes a long look at second and deals. This is ripped up the left side. That is a fair ball. Here comes Scheuer. He will score easily. It's one nothing sandwich. The ball still way out in left field. Balowitz able to throw it in. An RBI double for Tyler Whitaker. Whitaker's happy. Well, that would have been a two RBI double if Smith didn't get thrown out. Chris Perito will step in. That's all the way down that corner too. That's, that was past what would usually be the visiting bullpen. It's a long way out there. It certainly is. Home plate umpire and the uh, umpire at uh, position A are motioning to each other. I don't know what they're doing. It's all about the signals. Yeah. Gets a piece of this one, takes a hop on the infield grass, throw over to first, no problem. Six to three, four out, number two. Horning initially looked at third and said, can I get this guy? Probably not, I'm throwing a first. Yeah, in this case, now you have two outs. I think if you had no outs in that situation, you'd probably go to third. Right. Try and cut the lead runner down. Now you have two outs, so the situation is a little different. And the same thing with the signals by the umpires. That's what they're doing. They are going over potential situations that may pop up. John Tropia steps in, ball one. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the middle. That's going to get through. It's 2 nothing sandwich. RBI single for John Tropia. Yeah, none of the hits that uh, Sandwich have had so far have been cheapies. They've been ringing. That'll bring up Nick Heyer, the first baseman. What we used to say in Little League is, where do we play this guy? Way out. Way back, yep. You've seen how far can hit it. Hit it almost to the flagpole before. Big lead over at first. Wind up in the pitch. This is up the middle. Picked up by Horning. Flip to second. They'll get the force out. Six to four force out to end the bottom of the third. But Sandwich plates two runs, and they lead post 77 two to nothing on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the fourth inning. A two to nothing lead for Sandwich, top of the order for post 77. Kevin Balowitz, Brandon Grover, Jackson Hornung. Tyler Whitaker deals inside.
Wind up and the pitch. This is right back up the middle off the glove of Whitaker, but he picks it up, flips it over to first, no problem. One to three, four out number one, Brandon Grover, the center fielder, will step in. And another very short at bat right there. Yeah, it certainly is. Whitaker was only up to 36 pitches heading into this fourth inning. Yeah, you need to make him work a lot harder than that, Tom. I agree. Grover takes that one for a strike. And this is right to the second baseman, two away. I'll bring up Jackson Horn on the shortstop. And the two pitch uh, at bat right there, so only four in this inning. Oof. So uh, he's, he's up to 40 through three and two thirds. That's just not gonna do it. He'll likely be able to complete the game at this rate. At this rate, he just, he just may. There's a strike. I bet you didn't know this, Steve, but it's an interesting story. I was talking to Tommy Casal, the Metro West Daily News. And this is up the left side. That'll get in the left field. A two-out single for Hornung. First hit of the day. Tom Cavanaugh, the third baseman, will step in. Drew Rancatori and Brandon Grover will be class presidents for their respective schools. Arch enemies. Friends during the summer, arch enemies during the uh, sports season, and they're right back at it for next year. There's a called strike. And because Brandon Grover is class president, Dominic Cavanaugh is not. Aha. Uh -huh. Warning with a significant lead. This is up the right side foul. Oh, and two. He's got him out too. That first pitch looked uh, to be a bit outside from our view here. The 0 2 fouled away. Honung was on the move. Trying to manufacture something. A little hit and run. Do you know Coach uh, Ovid is the youngest manager in Massachusetts American Legion baseball history? How about that? 21 years old. History has been made and looking to make more of it here at the state tournament. Wind up in the pitch, runner taking off as this is hit in the air over to left field, past the reach of the shortstop. Hornung heading over to third, it's bobbled by the left fielder. And now Kavanaugh going to advance to second, the throw is late. Two in scoring position with two outs. I like that rotation by the base umpire, he's now at home plate. Because the home plate umpire was covering third base. Correct, and that's why they make all the signals to go over a situation just like that. Who's going where if this happens? Sean Jewett, the catcher, will step in. Gotta be patient. Cole Glassburn was just down the bullpen warming up. Would you go single with an error or double straight up on that? I would go single with an error. I'm in with you on that. I triple the motion. Certainly a mishandle in left field. So that one gets away from the catcher. Is Horning going to go? No. Don't want to run into an out and end the inning. Sean Jewett uh, uh, at the plate. You got to be patient here. You got two ducks on the pond. You're down by two runs. This is really the first threat you've had all day. Yep. Be patient and try and capitalize on it. Yeah. Got good speed on the bases. Yep. You just need a hit. That's it. Even a single will do. Wind up and the pitch, outside. Two and O count. Now if Whitaker yanks one really bad behind the catcher, Warner will take off. I wonder if they're gonna throw you at anything here with two in scoring position, and there's your answer, two and one. Nice change up. Gets a piece of this one, hit high in the air, over to right center, and it is caught. Third out of the inning, despite two in scoring position, no run score, and we head to the bottom of the fourth, sandwich leading two to nothing on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Of the fourth inning, seven, eight, and nine do up for sandwich. 
It was a 2-0 lead over post 77. Ashland threatened last inning. Jackson Horning started off with a single. And then advanced to second base after Kavanaugh single. And then both runners advanced due to a mishandle in the shallow left field. And Sean Jewett flew out to end the inning. Ward deals, swing and a miss. Nice pitch right there by Owen. Yeah, yesterday we were talking about energy and being lulled to sleep. And then things got hot. Feeling like the same thing today. We'll see if things get hot. Kavanaugh is able to glove that one. Throw to first is a nice one. Five to three for out number one. I'll bring up Jacob Lapp, the catcher. It's like sleepy dust was spread all over the place here yesterday, Steve. And then it... Y'all just woke up and smelled that coffee, mm -hmm. huh, Larry? Yeah. Was, that's that's why they play seven innings, though. That's right. The games aren't four innings long. Wind up in the pitch, swing and a miss. Not to mention it was a 10 a.m. start. So there was a lot of sleepy dust. Well, uh, yeah, and 10 on a summer Saturday, too, mind you. Down low. I'm sure that probably wasn't easy for uh, those folks who work on Friday night. Nope, it certainly wasn't. <laughs> yeah, the text messages, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> I told you I'd be here at nine-ish. That was the reply, Steve. That's right. <laughs> that's what I said. Followed away, one and two. And, and that's how you cover yourself with that ish part. Exactly. <laughs> Not gonna be there right at nine, but like, it could yeah, be nine, nine ish. Nine ish. It could be a little before, it could be a little after. <laughs> like um Jew. Could be nine oh five, nine oh seven. Just like Julian Adam. Jew ish. Outside. Sean trying to steal that pitch from the home plate umpire. He wasn't buying it. Well there were a couple there that were called against Ashland in roughly that same spot, so not a bad attempt. Fouled away. Two and two is the count. Really need a one, two, three inning here. They haven't had that yet. First inning was a one, two, three, no? No. Okay. No, it wasn't. Uh, must have been sleeping during the first inning. Inside. Full count. The three, two. And this is up the left side, gloved by Kavanaugh. Throw to first, not a problem. Second straight, five to three. Two outs in the inning. Nate Coleman will step in. You should wear the number five down there at third base. What do you think, Steve? Your reincarnation, Brooks Robinson? All right, that's going a little too far. Half the people listening don't know who Brooks Robinson is. Pitch down low. We may have some listeners on Cape Cod tuning in, sunning themselves, enjoying the ocean. The 1 0. This is hit high in the air, a little bloop, and it is caught one, by two, Horner. Three a 1 2 up. 3 inning. First one for. Post 77's defense all game long. We will head to the top of the fifth. It's 2 0 sandwich on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the fifth inning, a 2 0 lead for Sandwich. 6 7 and 8 do up for Post 77. Cole Glassburn, Alex Amalfi, and Drew Rankatori. Osborne gets a piece of this one, it's foul. Fellas, patience. Patience is a virtue, I heard, somewhere. And so far, they're swinging way too early in counts. Certainly are. Post 59's coach just uh, walked into the booth. He's happy man last night. The 0 1, there's a bunt, and that is a fair ball picked up by the catcher. Throw to first. Got him. We talked about that uh, before we came back at the break. Alex Melfi will step in. Not the right placement by Glassburn. Up the third baseline would have been much better. 
Wind up being the pitch. There's a strike. The 0 1. Strike two. Sandwich had a 1 0 victory last night. So they get some pitching. Fouled away. They certainly do. So far, no runs allowed in this tournament. 31 batting average for Malfi on the season, 355 on base percentage. Three driven in, three score. The Yankees in here today. They got an 18 in the three games. Swing and a miss. Two away. That'll bring up Drew Rankatori, the DH. Come on, Professor, a little base hit here. And this is foul. Oh, and one. Mike Atori struck out on his only plate appearance. Outside. Drew, he's still hobbled by that hamstring. That's never going to turn his end. Fouled away. One and two. Cole Glassburn returning from the bullpen area. A lot of shade down there. I think that's why he went down there. Here's the one, two. And he'll get a piece of this one. Takes a hop in front of the shortstop, throw to first. Not a problem. Another 1-2-3 inning in the top of the fifth. To the bottom of the inning we go. It's Sandwich leading post-77, 2 to nothing on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the fifth inning, a 2 nothing lead for Sandwich. Due up for, po or excuse me, due up for Sandwich post-188 here in this bottom of the fifth is the top of the order. Ben Smith, Cam Scheuer, and Tyler Whitaker. Sandwich scored both of their runs back in the third inning. RBI double by Tyler Whitaker, scored Cam Scheuer. And an RBI single by John Tropia, scored Whitaker. As this is hit in the air over to right field, and it is caught. With Calabrese with the catch, one away. Good range right there. He was hugging that line. Had to hustle to go grab that thing. He's only a sophomore. Not bad. Not bad legs for yep. Good stuff. Rising junior now. Cam Shoyer will step in. Covered a lot, a lot of ground. Yep. Line up in the pitch, down low. You think giving up five runs in two games should be in pretty good shape? but Ashley finding themselves on the wrong end of this 2 nothing affair. And this is hit in the air over to center field, and it was turning towards the left side. It was caught by the center fielder, two away. That'll bring up Tyler Whitaker, the pitcher. He's one for one at the plate. Has also walked, driven in a run, and scored a run. I think you've got a ESP, Tom. You're... Uh Calling for one, two, three innings, and you're uh, almost two for two. We'll see. This is up the middle, right back to Ward. The flip to first, no problem. One to three, four out, number three, and we will move right along to the top of the sixth. Sandwich leading post 77, two to nothing on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the sixth inning, 9-1 and 2 do up for post-77. Nick Calabrese, Kevin Balowitz, and Brendan Grover. Only three hits in the game for post-77 as they are being shut out right now by Tyler Whitaker, who is just pitching a tremendous game. He's getting the corner calls. Here's the 0-1 outside. Line up and the pitch. 
Down low. Whitaker working out of the stretch, which I've mentioned a thousand times I like. Calabrese grounded out in his only plate appearance. That is low and inside. Three and one. He spiked that one. Probably barely broke a sweat, this kid. Need to make him work. You're right. Haven't done that so far. No. Too many first pitch swings, two pitch at bats, and none of them have gotten results. So time to and ditch no, that plan. And nobody's yep. really hit anything that uh, resembles a high. Not really. And we played five innings in one hour here. So in real time, he hasn't been out there much either. Wind up and the pitch. There's strike two. It's now full count. One of the first three two counts, if any. Time called by the hitter. I think that's a good move right there. Yep. Disrupt his rhythm. Slow it down and have the at-bat on your terms. Correct. Hit when you want to hit. Payoff pitch. Outside, that's it's a it, walk. That's it. That was a great plate appearance there by Nick Calabrese. It'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. He's 0 for 2 so far today. Now Lapp's going to have a conversation with Whitaker. The head coach is, or the manager's going to have a conference. Pow wow out there on the mound. I think it was a good call by Grover, you know, calling time. Balowitz had two plate appearances yesterday and then went over Shrewsbury. He had an RBI double and was hit by a pitch. You know, you're close behind the plate when doing games, Steve. What, mm -hmm. what happens in a, um, on a okay. batter calls time on a pitcher in terms of their facial expressions, body language, that kind of stuff? If it's granted or not granted? If it's granted. If it's granted? I think they just step out, collect their thoughts, then resume the at-bat. For the pitcher, though. Balowitz gets a piece of this one. That's going to get through the gap. Into right field it goes. And now heading over to third is Calabrese. And it is first and third with no outs for post 77. First bit of trouble for Whitaker. Got first and third situation. Nobody down. We'll bring up Brandon Grover. Sandwich does have warm-up action. Yep. Yeah, that was a bad read there by the second baseman. The ball was going one way, he, he went the other way. I don't know whether he was covering a, a hit and run or what the situation was. Oh, oh. I don't know. I don't agree with that call. Yeah, that's, that's been all I'm protesting. That's been all over the place all day. You've seen some that call the ball sometimes, seen it called the strike some other times. Gets a piece of this one up the right side, through the gap it goes. Here comes a post-77 run, and it's a two-to-one ball game. An RBI single for Brandon Grover. See, this is the kind of action that happened yesterday, Steve. Little C and I hits, bleeders, bloopers. They'll bring up Jackson Hornung, the shortstop. Tying run at second base. Nobody out. But for Ashland, it's all about, can they write the same script as they did yesterday? Yeah. Wind up and the pitch. Breaking ball outside. I thought he would have lifted his right hand and called that one a strike. I think it arrived a bit too high. Okay. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Two and oh. Make him work, make him sweat. Whitaker working from the stretch. There's a bunt by Hornung. He squares and pulls it back. That, see that move right there, just showing bunt? That'll frazzle the pitcher. Mm -hmm. Now the first baseman is in, playing in. Makes him think a little bit. Yeah. Here's the 3-0. Called strike. <laughs> Hornung did not like it. He wanted to walk down to first base, but he wasn't going to steal that call.
Wow. No argument from Hornung on that one. Full count. He's got to compete with this at bat here. Payoff pitch. Gets a piece of this one hit high in the air. Infield and fly. And it is going to be an infield fly. Four and out. Oh. One away, two on. Dom Cavanaugh to the plate. A two to one game. Nick Calabrese has scored the first post 77 run of the evening. Yeah, well, Ashlands have the score, so. There's a called strike. Nice pitch by Whitaker. Shortstop standing right behind. Is that Grover at second base? Ballots. Gets a piece of this one. That's a fair ball picked up by the shortstop. Steps on second for one to throw over. And he gets the double play. Six to three to end the inning. And we will move along to the bottom of the sixth. It's Sandwich leading Ashland two to one on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the sixth inning, four, five, and six do up for Sandwich. Chris Perito, John Tropia, and Nick Heyer. Owen Ward out there for another inning of work. A two to one lead for post 188. Post 77 did play to run at the top of the inning. An RBI single by Brendan Grover scored Nick Calabrese. Line up and the pitch. This is fouled away. Cleanup hitter at the plate right now. He's 0 4 2 so far. Ward deals. There's a strike. 0 and 2. Leg lift and the pitch, and this is hit high in the air, left side foul territory. Kavanaugh ranging over, and he makes the catch. Sticks the glove out, and it falls right in. But it is out of play, so it does not matter. Or is it? Nope, it's an out. He was in play, just in play. All right, so out of play it is. Chris Perito still at the plate. Swing and a miss. Out number one, a strikeout. So that, one, that would be the judgment of the home plate umpire. He's looking right at that line. I'm not sure if you can really see it from our view here, but there is that chalk line right in front of each of the dugouts. That was down low. John Tropia at the plate. The 1-0. And this is hit high in the air over to center field. And it is caught by Brandon Grover, two away. Nick Heyer will step in. Nick is one for two at the plate today. Doubled in the second, grounded out in the third. Get into your baseball card collection and look up Moose Scourin. Inside. I'm dating myself, but. <laughs> the 1-0. Up the left side, foul. I don't know what the Lawrence team is doing in the bleachers. Getting all wet. There's a strike. One and Not two. Not my problem, though. 
Well, Lawrence in action next against Milford. I'd say they're scouting their next opponent. Wind up in the pitch. Oh! And that is off the glove of Ward, picked up by Glassburg. Can he get it over in time? Yes, he can. One, four, three. One, that's right, you can score that one, one, four, three, and we will head to the top of the seventh, post 77, down to their final three outs, trailing two to one on the Ashton Legion Baseball Network, coming up next. Top of the seventh inning, post 77 down to their final three outs, trailing two to one. Five, six, and seven do up, Sean Jewett, Cole Glassburn, and Alex Amalfi. Tyler Whitaker trying to go the complete game, and he hits Sean Jewett. So Jewett will march down to first base, lead runner on for post 77. At this level, that usually gets the dugouts going. Wear it, take one for the team. Yeah. We got ice. <laughs> All that good stuff. And there's the uh, sandwich manager out there to talk to his big right-hander. And we'll uh, wonder what the Leash is here, and it doesn't look very long. They are going to change their pitcher. So Tyler Whitaker know. will come know. out of the game. I don't know about this. And we'll have a new pitcher for Sandwich Post 188, and we'll fill you in on who that is when we come back on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. New pitcher for Sandwich Post 188, Joe Dorman is the new pitcher. The starting pitcher, Tyler Whitaker, has moved over to first base. Sean Jewett is on after being hit by a pitch. No outs, Cole Glassburn at the plate. Outside. So the tying run on first base. That pitch was way up there. Lap did a good job pulling that one down. Goes to the backstop. Jewett's in second base. The 1-0. This is hit in the air, over to left center. That'll get down, and Jewett is going to be stopped at second. It's first and second with no outs. A single for Cole Glassburn. We've got Sam Farrell gonna pinch hit. Sam Farrell pinch hitting for Alex Amalfi. I think he's in there for bunting purposes myself. He's the fastest kid on the team. So the kids tell me. Well, he's in there to hit rather than pinch run. He can bunt for a hit or he can bunt for a sacrifice yep. to move the runners over. We shall see. Let's see whether this kid can throw a strike first. Make him prove it. Yep. Be smart, be patient. Cole inside out of that one. Now the first baseman is coming in to charge. Smells bunt. Dorman deals outside, one and oh. Do up next is Drew Rankatori. Two on, no outs, four post 77 here in the top of the seventh. Dorman deals, fouled away. One and one. Now they've kind of backed off a bit, so perhaps you go bunt here? You just might. Perhaps. Dorman deals. Called strike. 77's ruin, ruining Yvonne's manicure, I'm telling you. Two days in a row. Cardiac kids, Larry. Yeah. You should know this. Yeah, I know. Get the paddles out. The one, two. And that is going to get away from the catcher. Both runners are going to move up, but is it a foul? And will they have to go back? No, no that's not a foul ball. That was check swing for strike three. All right, there so it the is. So the runner cannot advance since there's less than two outs. But the runners do move up. So essentially, you accomplish what you'd want to on a bunt without actually bunting. Right, we'll take it. Drew Rankatori steps in, the DH. Tying run at third base, 1-0. Ooh, 
Had a hard time holding that swing. 0 oh and 1, it is a strike. Dead pull hitter, Drew Rangatori is. Fouled into the backstop, 0 oh and 2. You got a big gap there between the center fielder and the right fielder. Yeah, you could drive a 22 wheeler between the center fielder and the right you fielder. You go, that's a lot of space out there. The center fielder is playing very shallow for Drew. The 0 2. Breaking pitch, called strike three. Ooh, nobody likes that, but sandwich. The Calabrese will step in. Tom doesn't like it, Steve doesn't like it, I don't like it. Alex Reynolds, former Tri-Valley MVP, doesn't like it. Yep. I don't know about that call, that's for sure. I thought that it wrapped a bit high. I know uh, Jake didn't like it. I just think you have to be that accurate at he this point in the game. He was a hero yesterday, Calabrese. We'll see if he could do it again inside. It's not really even being accurate, Tom. It's being consistent. Right. Well, and the strike zone, I think, has been all over the place. I think we can agree. And if it's inconsistent as a hitter, then you really don't know what to expect, and then you're swinging at crap pitches, you know? Right. Strike one. One and one. First base is open if he gets behind. He may give the four-fingered salute, but I doubt it. He deals. And this is up the left side, slow roller. The throw over to first is in time, and Sandwich has defeated Ashland Post 77. A six to three ground out for Nick Calabrese, and Sandwich takes the two to one win. Post 77 will next play tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m. against Somerset, right here at Fino Field in Milford. The final score for the final time, Sandwich defeats Post 77, two to one. For Connor Donovan on camera, my broadcast partners Larry Sacklad and Steve Watson, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching Ashland Legion Baseball, neither WACA TV and Ashland, HCAM and Hopkinton, or HCAT and Hollison. Take care, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and we'll talk to you again soon.